Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make puff puff that we call Mikate in Lingala. So the ingredients that I'm using are salt, vanilla extract, dry yeast, coconut oil, sugar, vegetable oil, and two cups of self-raising flour which I sift. So for more information, please see the description box below. If you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a like, comment, share with your friends and family, and subscribe if you haven't. So I'm starting with mixing all the dry ingredients together. I've got some dry yeast here, which I'm using two tablespoons of dry yeast, which is the two packs of it, basically. So I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. I'm adding some sugar. As I said, is about just under a cup of sugar. Mix it all well together, all the dry ingredients together. After mixing the dry ingredients together, I'll gradually add some lukewarm water, then mix it with my hands. I suggest you use your hands to mix it because it just makes it, it just gets mixed easier. Just gradually adding it, then mixing it at the same time. This is where things get a bit messy. <laughs> When the consistency becomes a bit thicker like this, you stop. So I added just under a cup of water, of lukewarm water, not a full cup of water. So now I'm gonna add some vanilla extract. I'm adding a teaspoon of vanilla extract and continue mixing. At this point you want to make sure you mix it all well together because it's the last thing that we added so that it can be ready to uh, make a puff puff. I just like to do this, just to double check. <laughs> Guys, if at any point here, yeah, you accidentally add more water, then you're supposed to, you can always add a bit of flour and mix it together until it has that consistency. You know, a thick consistency. The paste was a bit watery, so I needed to add a bit of um, flour just to make sure is the consistency, I like it. So this is just perfect, guys. So I'm gonna proof this for about one and a half to two hours and I'm gonna show you guys how I fry it. Do bear in mind you can proof it for longer, so the longer you proof it, the better. If you've seen my last video of Puff Puff, I actually left it overnight because I just couldn't be bothered <laughs> to make it the same day when I was at my sister's house, so um, you can actually do that. It just uh, proves better, but it depends on your times. So there's a trick that my cousin showed me, which is putting it next to a heater a heater that's on but not too not too close but um the heat the heat helps it to prove quicker so i'm gonna cover it again like this and i'll be back okay guys i actually left this for four hours like it's actually hench right now it's proper hench right now it looks like it's been in the gym <laughs> Okay, so this is good. This is a good sign anyways. This is a great sign because it just means that Amikate is just going to look like it's been in the gym. It's just going to taste amazing. It'll taste amazing, guys. So guys, before I get started, I'm going to show you something that I do before I fry the puff puff. Of course, I've got the butter here and I've got some water just to make it easy for the butter to slip off my fingers. And I just got something to um, put it in when it's fried and I've got this it just makes it easier so it doesn't uh, bring the oil so you don't have oily puff puff this is essential guys trust me okay so we're ready to begin I'm gonna add some vegetable oil you can use any oil of your choice sunflower oil corn corn oil whatever you like so I'm adding some vegetable oil in there and I'm gonna turn on the heat on high until it gets hot then I'm going to reduce that heat so we don't want the mikate 
a puff puff to burn. Make sure you add enough oil to fry the puff puff. We're deep frying it, so you need quite a lot of oil. But um, I'm just waiting for that to get hot. Then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the coconut oil. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the coconut oil in there. As the vegetable oil is hot, it's just gonna melt it. You don't have to do this. The reason why I do it is because I like the coconut flavor. I don't have any coconut milk with me, so I'm adding coconut oil just to give it that coconut flavor. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is test the oil just to see if it's ready. So I'm just gonna add one and see what's gonna happen. I know some people find it hard to make the round ball, but it doesn't have to be perfect to be honest, especially when you're just having it, uh, you're just making it at home for yourself or for your family. It doesn't have to be perfect, but um, I'm gonna show you in a minute how to um, do it. I'm gonna try my best to explain it. <laughs> But um, oh, I can smell that coconut flavor. It's so beautiful. For some reason, they're not rising. I don't know why. Why are they getting stuck underneath, please? Why are they getting stuck underneath? You're supposed to rise. Come on. There you go. Okay, so this is the trick, yeah, of making it round. It takes a lot of practice to get it right, but um, you just basically have to do it like this, like that, and then you use your thumb to push it down, and here you go. But make sure you have your hand wet, you have your fingers wet so it can be easy to just slip off your fingers. You see that? That's what you do. So you just keep repeating the process for the rest of them until it's done. So once it turns to a golden color like this, then it's ready. Remember, we're frying it on medium heat. And it gets cooked well, it gets fried well, doesn't burn, and it just looks good. Et voilà, c'est prêt à manger et silly. Um, you can eat, you can eat puff puff mikate with so many things. You can have it with avocado. I had it with avocado before, and it's so delicious. I love having it with avocado with peanut butter or even peanuts you can also have it with billy billy you know spicy sauce or you can have it aside with your meals it's just fantastic guys and i heart i heart this um and it's such a great snack for um, weekends growing up i ate this a lot during weekend and it's just amazing I hope this video was helpful if you did like it please don't forget to give it a like comment share with your friends and family and subscribe if you haven't and i'll speak to you all on my next one bye bye